What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinFromRustinFromTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now this is going to be a how to video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to boot Raspbian from a USB flash drive. Yes, you can boot Raspbian from a USB flash drive. This also works on any USB hard drive. It doesn't have to be a flash drive, it could be any USB hard drive. What you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi, you're going to need a USB flash drive, and you're going to need a micro SD card. And in this video I'm going to show you guys step by step everything you're going to need to download, how to install it, and how to set it up. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is open up the browser here and there's a few things we wanna download. The first thing you wanna download is Raspbian. This is the newer one. This one is the 7.5 2017 version of Raspbian. So this is the link here. It's raspbian.org forward slash downloads forward slash Raspbian. I'll leave a link to this in the description. We wanna download the zip here. This first one here where it says Jesse with desktop, download the zip. We don't want the light version, by the way. So click on the zip, download it. And uh, once it's finished in downloading, we're gonna move on to the next step. I already downloaded mine, so I'm not gonna do it again. And uh, once it's finished downloading, you wanna wanna extract it to your desktop. Pretty sure you guys can figure out how to extract something to the desktop. Extract this to the desktop. Once you finish, we can move on to the next step. Now, the next step is to download something called Etcher. Etcher is a program that allows us to flash the flash drive, any drive basically with an image or burn an image to a drive, which whatever you want to call it. You can use other programs to do it. I like to use Etcher and there's other programs I've used, but Etcher is pretty cool. I like it. So download Etcher. This is the link etcher.io. I'll leave a link to this in the description. You're going to want to click on this download link. Once it's finished downloading, uh, install it. Go through all the steps next, next, yes. I'm not going to do it in this video. The way I see it, if you guys are tinkering with Raspberry Pis, I'm pretty sure you know how to install a program. So once that program is done, we're going to move on to the next step. Now the next step is to download something called Notepad++. It's a notepad editor. I know you guys are like, but Windows has a notepad editor. This is a special one. It's a lot better than the original Windows notepad editor because it allows us to edit the config file. This will allow you to edit things that like the Windows notepad won't. It'll give you like permission denied bullshit and this can do it for you and it won't give you any problems it's free it's awesome notepad the link will be in the description download that install that now once you finish doing that the first thing we're gonna do is open up etcher because you downloaded it and installed it now before we click on select image make sure your usb flash drive or whatever usb drive you're connecting to your computer that you want flashed make sure it's connected to your computer and also make sure that a micro sd card is also connected to your computer because we're going to flash that as well you're going to still need to connect that micro sd card to the computer just one time to get this setup to work with once that setup is done you never have to connect that micro sd card to the computer it's just going to boot from the usb flash drive so now select on the image Wherever you saved yours, I saved mine on the desktop. And remember, you extracted it. It has to be that image you extracted. Now we're going to select our drive. You want to select the fir first one. Our first one is going to be the micro SD card. This is mine right here. So I'm going to click on continue. Then I'm going to click on flash. Then I'm going to click on yes. Now it's starting to flash that drive. Once it's finished, I'm going to come right back. All right, so it says flash completed. So now we're going to click out of this. We're going to open it up again. Now we're going to select the same image again like we did the previous step i'm gonna click on open now we're gonna do the same thing to our usb flash drive again this will also work on a usb hard drive so make sure you select your usb flash drive or hard drive right i ran into a problem before where i wasn't able to see my drive so if you guys can't see your drive just plug it to another usb port if you plug it into a, like a 3.0 plug it into a 2.0 and it should pop up i click on continue now we're gonna click on flash again now i'm gonna come back once this is finished now that's finished we close this Make sure the devices are still connected to your computer, by the way. Uh, what I recommend is disconnect them and connect them again. Just just in case like one of them was unmounted. All you have to do is disconnect them and connect them again. They should be remounted. So this line of code here, this is the line of code we're going to copy on our config files of both of the drives, by the way. I'll show you how to do that. Now open up your like file explorer. Navigate to the first drive. I don't, I don't know if this is our uh, flash drive or our SD card, but it doesn't really matter. So um, this is the first drive here. So you have two boots. One is a USB flash drive and the other one is our micro SD card that we're gonna connect to the Raspberry Pi. And we're gonna connect both of them, by the way. Scroll down so you see this here. This is something called config.txt. You're gonna right click it and uh, edit with notepad, right? So now all we have to do is copy this here, this line of code program underscore USB underscore boot underscore mode equals one. I'm gonna leave this in the description if you guys wanna copy it. So I'm gonna copy this here. Now I wanna maximize this here and we're going to paste it at the end of this file, right? I'm gonna file hit enter and just paste it at the end somewhere. Once you paste it at the end, again, this is what we're gonna copy. It's program underscore USB underscore boot underscore mode equals one. Then we're gonna hit save, right? See, 
This didn't give us any problems when we saved it. If you open this file in Microsoft Notepad, it would have told us we needed permission for whatever reason. That's why we're using Notepad++. So close that. That was our first boot device. I'm not sure again which one it is, but it doesn't matter because we're going to do the same thing with the second boot device, which could be our USB flash drive or it could be our micro SD card. So click on the second boot drive here, navigate. Now we're gonna look for our config.txt file again, right click it, edit with Notepad++ again. Again, we're going to go to the bottom of this text file and we're going to just paste that line of code as well. Program underscore USB underscore boot underscore mode equals one. And we're gonna hit save, boom. All right guys, so now we're gonna disconnect our two drives and connect them to the Raspberry Pi 3, our USB flash drive, and also our micro SD card. The reason we're connecting our micro SD card is by default, the Raspberry Pi wants to load Raspbian from the micro SD card. So it doesn't know that you have that boot option available yet. So we have to do that, that first time, then when we, when we reboot the second time, it's gonna load it from our USB flash drive or whatever drive you chose to flash. Now I connected everything to my Raspberry Pi. I connected that micro SD card. I also connected that flash drive. I also powered it on and I'm able to capture it right here. As you can see, this is it captured right now live. Now, uh, this is the first boot. So now I'm going to restart it, right? When I restart it, I'm gonna restart it here. I'm gonna click on reboot. While I click on reboot, while I click on reboot, I'm going to remove the micro SD card. So I removed the micro SD card, as you can see, it's like right here and it's still loading Raspbian. It means that the Raspbian is loading from the USB flash drive. It's not loading from the micro SD card, by the way. All right guys, so I have the micro SD card here. Right after I rebooted it, I took it out. Now it's running Raspbian from our USB flash drive. I don't know if I can pull it up here so you can see. All right guys, so you can see our USB flash drive is connected right now. It's loading Raspbian right from our USB flash drive and there is no other drive connected right there, as you can see. The SD card is not connected at all, so it completely worked. Now, all the items you're gonna need for this video, again, was a Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3. I'm gonna leave a link to that Raspberry Pi 3 in the description if you guys wanna check it out. You're gonna need a flash drive. I'll leave a link to a flash drive as well in the description, the same one I used. And you're also going to need to download a few software. You're gonna need a micro SD card, by the way, but that, if you have a Raspberry Pi, I'm sure you have a micro SD card, but if you don't get a micro SD card, I'll leave a link to that micro SD card, the same one I'm using in the description as well. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasimpamasmartech.com and thank you guys for watching.